Do you need to create images for your business, but you're in a crunch and all you have is your phone? Let me show you how to create branded images for you using the Canva app. Now, just a quick caveat, I do have the pro version and I do think it is probably one of the best investments that I can have for my business. So if you don't already have Canva Pro, definitely look into getting it. It is also a tax write off as well, but you can see I'm already on my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Canva app and I'm going to start with a new canvas. So in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to click that plus button. Now, every time I create something new and if, especially if it's going to be a square, I always do a custom dimension, a custom size right here at the top. And you can see, I almost always do 2000 by 2000 pixels. Now, the reason why we wanna go super big like that and not 100 pixels by 100 pixels is because whenever we download it and we upload it to social media, all of these social media sites compress the images. So if you start out with an already small image and you upload it to social media, it's gonna make it even smaller, which means it's going to be pixelized. So go big, go 2000 or higher for your images. So the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and I'm going to swipe down to get rid of this so we can see our canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the canvas and let's go ahead and choose one of our colors. As you can see, because I have pro, I have my brand kit here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my favorite teal color. And now I want to add me into this photo. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus sign. I'm going to go to camera roll and I'm going to go to my camera. Let's go ahead and flip me around. Now, what you want, I'm going to switch over to my phone. What you want to do is you want to find a wall that is a solid color. It doesn't have to be white. It just needs to be solid. So as you can see here, there's a door behind me. We have like a grayish and white. That's totally fine. So one thing that you want to make sure that you do is you want to make sure that you have at least the top of your head and the side of your body in that white space. You don't want to be like this because top of your head is going to be cut off and the shoulder is going to be cut off. So you want to make sure that you give enough room on both sides. Go ahead and take a picture and you can point, you can do whatever you want to do. I guess we'll go ahead and point for this one. Ta-da. Okay. Let's go ahead and use that photo. Okay. So now we are going to remove the background, which again is a pro feature. So I'm going to go ahead and choose effects. We're going to remove the background. Perfect. So now if we want to create that sticker effect that makes it look like you are floating on top of the image, all we need to do is scroll to the right. We're going to head over to shadows and then we're going to choose glow. Now we can see that there's a little bit of shadow there, but we want to play with that. So if you click on glow, you can see that there are some settings there. We want to bring up the size we can see that glow around me is getting bigger. We want to put the transparency all the way to 100 and the blur all the way down. So now we can see I have a solid black line around me. We're gonna change that to white. Perfect. I'm gonna go back and done. So that kind of gives that sticker appearance. But if we wanna be floating on top of the image, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna click the shadows again. We're going to choose glow and the settings and we can change. So you can see now there's that shadow behind me. So it looks like I'm floating on top of the image. And what we can do now is we can put this image where we want it. So if we want, we can flip this to the other side, but I'm going to go ahead and just leave it facing this way. We can make it a little bit bigger and we can put me right over here in the corner. Perfect. And now I want to add some text. So I'm going to choose the plus sign again. And we're gonna choose text down at the bottom. I have my brand fonts up here at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this out so that way more space to work with. We can change that font size. We can make it super big if we want. Good deal. Let's go ahead and make it white. And then we can also have the effects with this one and we can add that shadow. We can tap on it again to bring up the settings. So I wanna have that be a little bit more blurry. We'll change the offset. The offset's gonna bring the shadow closer to the word. And we're gonna make that, oh, I don't want it that dark. Let's bring it back down and we're gonna change it to black. So now that I have black, I can see that I do want it a little bit more blurry and a less transparent. Perfect. Now, if we click on format, we can make it 
all capital letters, which is my favorite. If we want to change it to left aligned, right aligned, if we want to make it underlined or any of those formatting, we can. But from here, whenever I went in to make it bigger, you saw that 144 was the biggest that we could go. But if we want, we can use these dots and drag it to be even bigger. So now we can see that that heading is on top of me and I want it to be behind me. So it looks like I am floating on top of everything. So if we scroll over, we can see position right here. We can move it backwards, perfect. And now if we want to add something else to the right hand side, we can use that purple plus sign in the bottom left hand corner. Maybe you wanna add a product or something for your business that you want to showcase. And that way it's a personally branded image. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions about utilizing Canva or making your own personal branded images, let me know down below in the comments. If you like this and you got some value, definitely hit that like button down below. If you have a business bestie who loves Canva as much as you do, definitely share this video with them and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell so you can notification every time I put out a new video. I'll see you next time.